And when it comes to staying safe from a tornado or a severe thunderstorm, experts often recommend an underground shelter. But what if you don't have the money? Well, then you improvise, like the owners of an Otago County mobile home park. They found their answer in a surplus school bus. WSMP 12 News reporter Demetria Connor has more on their unique haven. Call it riding out the storm, literally. It's the whole bus on the ground. A bus placed underground as a storm shelter. I'm ready for the, 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 the uh, tornado, you know. James and Claudette Hunter purchased a bus five years ago after a tornado ripped through the trailer park they own on County Road 40 West. It didn't do that much damage, but it picked up a trail and threw it across the highway. Concerned about their tenant's safety during severe weather. So she knows it's there if she needs it. This underground bus was a refuge during the April tornadoes and the storms that passed two months ago. They were safe, and a lot of them said it on. It's roomy, and it just, it just had a nice time down there. The hunters say it was all about being frugal. When we started looking for retainers, and they were so expensive, so we started thinking about a school bus. They found this old Otaga County school bus built in 1985 from a junkyard for only $800. Now this bus has 20 seats and it can fit about 75 people on it, including people standing along the aisle. It's nine feet underground and the bus is 27 feet long. The hunters paid a man $700 to dig a hole deep enough to cover the bus. Then when we got all the dirt out and the bus down to the level of the ground, then we was able to bag the bus in the runway and then pull it down in there. You see those caps sitting on the top? Those are your air vents. And I have a kerosene lamp in there for a bag up. A unique underground shelter from the storm. Demetria Connor, WSFA 12 News, Otaga County. I guess necessity is the mother of invention. Otaga County School Superintendent Greg Faulkner tells us that old or unrepairable buses are auctioned off on a government deals website.